What's up guys, Roberto here. So I wanted to show you a little bit of how I, uh, the process of packaging a pillow and how we do that. So once we're done making it, this is kind of how it goes and this is uh, how I ship them out. So this is my little uh, hub. This is my station where I do all of my shipping. Um, basically we have my computer that I actually use, my MacBook. And um, I usually I'm just watching stuff on there because it's kind of like keeps me entertained. This old big old Dell is my um, notebook that's just used for uh, shipping because the software was Windows software. So I figured, okay, I need a any sort of PC to use this, <laughs> and uh, I didn't have one at the time, which was uh, given to me by um, a throwaway fan, John Fam, and. Um, you can check out his YouTube channel. He is uh, right here, Fam Pants. And so then the rest of this is just my printer. This is my label printer, so this prints out um, the shipping labels that we use. And then this printer prints out stamps, like regular stamps, and then small labels if I ever need to send out like a letter or something like that. And then I have a scale. Um, so once a pillow is done, um, we seal them up in a plastic bag like this so we kinda like push out all the air get them as small as possible so that um, one it brings the size of the package down so you don't have to pay as much in shipping and um, it also just kinda keeps them fresh and um, you know without any sort of lint on them or anything like that I always felt like that was important so, so this is all packaged ready to go and so now I take, uh, first thing I would do is I would print out the receipt for this person and we print that out. That's basically just like the records of, of um, how they, you know, what whatever they bought. And then the next thing I do is I take a thank you card. So these are our new thank you cards, the one with the throwboy, um, oops, the throwboy Red Bull on it. Very nice by Brennan Coyle. You can check out his stuff on um, well, this annotation, this is for his clothing uh, clothing company, the Foundry. Very cool stuff, skateboard stuff. And as you can see on the back of the card we have, um, well it tells you a little bit about the artist and then it also has a little place where I can put the pin. So what I do is I take some tape and I tape the pin right there and I would do that right now but I only have one hand. So. We put that there, tape it on, and then we have to put the um, the pillows in an envelope. So let's see if I can do this with uh, one hand. Well, what we can do first is we can just weigh them. So if this doesn't fall, let's just weigh it. So I use this software, stamps.com software, and as you can see, I won't give away who this is going to, but if we click on the weigh button it just weighed it and then I have to round it up that's how the post office works I thought it weighed more but anyway so that weighs one pound a little bit uh, close to one pound and then uh, you uh, basically just put in the address and hit um, print so uh, it looks like it's right. Let me look. I don't want to like give away who I'm sending this to if I already have. Just want to make sure. I have to double check. I double check lots of things. Uh, and, you know, I look at it again. I'm like, okay, one icon pillow, one red OMG. Uh, yes, it's a chat pillow. Sometimes I, I have to relook at that because if it's a throw baby, like I'd accidentally send them a throw baby, that would be that would be the wrong order. Um, anyway, so this one looks like it's good to go. And then, um, and then we just hit print postage, and then it's uh, just verifying that that address is right. And then now it should um, print out. Well, it's telling me to print. Remember this old Windows XP stuff? I only use it for work. <laughs> I don't ever use it for anything else. And then this will print. So it's pretty cool. It prints out a U.S. postage 
Uh, whoops, I almost gave it away. You can probably pause it and see who that was. Uh, <laughs> so I print out the 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 uh, postage and you slap that onto the envelope. So this one is good to go as soon as I put it in the envelope, obviously. Um, so this is really nice. Whoops, this is really nice because, geez, before when I when I first started Throwboy, um, I think I actually hand wrote some of them, which is ridiculous if I think about it now. And then. Um, what did I used to do? Oh, then I was like, oh, I need to buy a label maker. And I ended up buying this Dymo label maker. You can buy these, you know, pretty much anywhere um, at office supply stores and stuff. And they they print out labels, but um, postage is like another thing. So you have to print out the postage and the label. And what I did for a really long time is I would print out um, the postage, so like the person's address, and... Then I would go to the post office with a huge bag and stand in line and sit there and wait for them to weigh it and put postage. Weigh it and put postage. So, like, we're talking, like, 50-plus packages every couple days of me doing that. And then <laughs> that was just so dumb, but I was in such a routine, so I wouldn't stop doing that. And then, anyway, um, Airfon, my friend from Mike Tees, he, uh, he was the one that told me, like, hey, you should buy this printer. This is, like... What everybody uses, this is like an industrial printer, and it will print the postage for you, and you can use this software, and it will be so much easier. And so I started doing that, and it's nice. So now, if we look over here, this is just kind of like what I've done so far. This is a typical lineup. I just kind of line it up on the wall. And these are ready to go and ship out around the world. So, that is my little routine. I'm doing that today, Sunday, and... Uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how that is because uh, a lot of you probably don't know. That's how I have to do it. Everybody's order comes through, they get made, and then we uh, have to package them up, put them in an envelope, put the postage on it, put a thank you card on it, and they think that's everything. Send it on its way. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that little behind the scenes, and I will see you again. Peace.